Hi, my name is Saurajit Kanungo. Welcome to Cyber Group. We are a 200-person technology consulting company based out here in Dallas, Houston, and New Delhi, India. We are passionate about helping our customer drive their business goals by leveraging technology. In next few months, I plan to showcase some of our key technology leaders sharing real life customer success stories with you. We love to hear your feedback and also suggestions for future topics if you may have. Hope you enjoy this interview. Thank you very much. Jeff Avernadi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, we you don't, too. We work together, but we don't see each other. But we work every, apart. Yeah, <laughs> we do. COVID times. Thanks for joining me today. You bet, you uh, bet. For the audience, I'd like for you to give a brief introduction of yours. Sure, sure. Uh, my name's Jeff Abernathy. I've uh, been in the industry, consulting industry for about 20 years. Uh, and in addition to that was 10 years as COO. So I've seen consulting from the doer side. I've seen it from, as a COO from the purchasing side. And it's, it's been a, a, good, a good run. And I now have the opportunity to get back into consulting after being a COO. And it's, it's been fun to be able to apply all that experience uh, to benefit our clients. Great. Thank you. Because the topic we are going to discuss today is the infamous topic which gives cringes to CEOs and CFOs and everybody in the company is the topic of ERP selection, yes. ERP roadmap, and implementation. Yes. Nobody looks forward to those projects. I know, it's such a big deal. I want to, I want to talk about a project you recently completed for a large equipment uh, rental company uh, yes. Best here in Texas. You know, before um, you uh, started helping this company, they've been on this road to select their new ERP system for almost three years. Mm -hmm. That includes the CEO of the company, the CFO, and the COO. Yes. But you showed up and you told them you could do this in nine weeks. Did you have a magic wand or what? Could you elaborate? <laughs> a magic wand, it'd be, I'd love to have a magic wand, but unfortunately we, we didn't. But what we had, which was just as good, was a, a, a foolproof methodology and approach for doing ERP software selections. Uh, and we, you know, as a consulting company, had focus. A lot can be accomplished with focus, and you know, I, I think they were so busy growing, expanding, they didn't have the focus to commit the resources to get it, getting it done. And you know, and, and ERP vendors, when they see that another consulting company is involved, they will give you the time because they know that the company is serious. So we had a great methodology to actually um, take them through that selection process. It was very detailed, um, but just detailed enough. You have to you know, align it for every company. You don't want to get bogged down with a huge RFP when an RFI will work. Um, you know, you need to have demos for the, the business and, you know, but I, I think our approach was after we custom tailored it for them, I think they saw, okay, we could get this done, you know, and they were committed. The software vendors that we were working with were committed to being involved and we of course were committed and were able to get it done in nine weeks. Wow, that's uh, very interesting. So the question is that did when you said nine weeks, do you think the executives actually believed you? And, and the second part of the question is, did you believe that you could do it in <laughs> nine weeks? Um, first part of your question, I think maybe in the first conversation they didn't because it had taken them a while to, to get it. Um, but once we showed them the approach and we took them through kind of a week by week plan, this is what we're going to do and, you know, and this is the role that we need y'all to play, this is the role we'll play, and this is the role we need the ERP vendors to play, I think they said, okay, you know, we can, we can get this done. And uh, the, the second part of the question, I've been around a little while and I've seen these done and the key is getting the client to commit. And if they're committed, 
then we can make it happen in nine weeks. Yes, that's fascinating. Very fascinating. And and I'm ha I was happy to see that you guys got it done in nine <laughs> weeks. You had a vendor. You had a decision. That was awesome. I was very proud to go and mm -hmm. and be in the meeting where the C-suite was giving a lot of credit to you and your team for yeah, getting that done. Yeah, that was nice. Thank you. So now comes the second part, the implementation part. Yes. Again, not, not a very fun topic in our industry. I think ERP implementations are known for yes, being over time, over budget. budget. You guys came up with a roadmap, which was like between 20 or 24 weeks implementation. And uh, you guys actually completed with minor delays and even minimal to no over budget. Like, could you elaborate? What are, yes. what are the key to that success? Yeah, yeah. And, and just to add to that story and the complexity, um, this company had been the, the merger of, of two different companies. Mm. So we had the North, we had the South. Yeah. Um, each had a different ERP package. Oh, yeah. And so oh, not yeah. only, and dif different data sets. So not only did we have to pick a software vendor that would work for one company, it basically we had to pick a software vendor and ERP system that would work for both companies. Um, and, and, and at the same time we were doing the implementation, we were helping to aggregate those two companies' processes and procedures and getting them all on one page. So just to add to the complexity, the, you know, in thinking about what makes ERP uh, projects unsuccessful and then what makes them successful, it's, uh, to me, the key is getting the right team in place. Um, and then the, 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 even even before that is making sure you're selecting the right software for that company. If you do a good, ERP selection, and you're selecting the ERP vendor that most closely aligns with the requirements and the technical needs of the, the client, then your implementation just at the start is going to be, be easier. Uh, and there's also things that you can do. There, there's um, the config pre-configurations um, that are out there that you can purchase for an SAP, for an Oracle, for another ERP that are already closely aligned with that industry. And that gives you a leg up for the industry. The, the, the other thing that's almost equally as important is having a, a good team in place um, that appropriately leverages what the client is good at, what a, a vendor like us, consulting vendor, is good at, and then what the ERP system um, vendor, uh, what they are good at with. Uh, and I think we really did a good job at, at, at leveraging the skill sets from each of those three areas for this um, project. The, the client was, was doing what the client does best. They know their business. They know their processes. So they were helping us as subject matter experts and process owners. Uh, we were doing what we do best. We were the project managers. We did the data conversion from the system ultimately. Um, you know, and then the, the software vendor, uh, they knew their configuration, so that they knew how the system worked in detail. And so when a, when a client came up with an idea, hey, I want to do this, they go, okay, this is how you do that. Yeah. You know, so they already knew the package. Sometimes we would know the package and we can play that role, um, but if it's a package that we don't have that experience and the configuration experience, we can um, play to the different role. And I think it's holistically kind of looking at it and transparently and thinking, where can we add the value? And I think that's what we're really good at is working with our clients and saying, we can add this value, you need to add this value, and party X might need to add this value. Yeah, great point. So, you know, I had the opportunity to watch you and your team operate and, uh, uh, from a distance, and the CEO is a good friend of mine, and he and I sometimes would talk, you know, sometimes uh, over drinks or something, and he would um, obviously appreciate how well you uh, orchestrated everything. And you know, he he gave he gave some compliment to you, which I, I have passed on to you mm -hmm. before that. You are like a smooth orchestra conductor. Like uh -huh. there are so many performers and and you are really uh, operating the, the conducting the orchestra in a very harmonious manner oh. so uh, thank you yeah thank you 
Um, you know, last question for you is, you know, you, pro you know this, you've been a C-level executive, like they feel, you know, there is an amount of, big amount of inertia when they think about ERP conversion, data migration, and uh, they tend to keep pushing the can down the road mm -hmm. just to go through that, that horrendous process. Mm -hmm. what, what would some advice you could offer to those C-level executives? You know, I, I think the key is just to get started. You know, start with a conversation. So if you're uncomfortable as a, a C-level executive actually saying, in this year I am going to implement ERP, well, commit to having a conversation, uh, calling a consulting company like us to talk about how a selection project would work. That's a great way to get start, uh, get started. And you know, and then maybe you do the selection project. At any point in time, as a C-level exec, you can say, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm not comfortable right now. You know, but if you continue to be comfortable through the process, you do a nine-week project to get it select. Oh, I like that vendor they showed us. I could see this really working, and I like working with Cyber Group. I could see this really working. It makes the decision process easier, you know, in, in little little bits and chunks, you know, as you're going through. That's fascinating. That, that's good advice, Jeff. Well, thank you so much you for bet. spending time with us. Well, thank you for the opportunity. And I can tell you that we have a customer for life, and that couldn't have done because of your leadership. Well, thank you, Sarjeet.